What's up guys, uh, Kuga here and today I want to speak about the uh, Gletcher map and how you can sustain it. Now, I make this video, there is a lot of videos showing how to sustain some specific map. They work for every single map, unless some like tier 16 which is a little bit more complicated. But today we are focusing on Glacier map. Now. I made in last two days a lot of testings. I did like around, I don't know, maybe 500, 600 maps. And I'm actually surprised how fast you can farm currency there. So let's not waste the time. Let me show you. Uh, first, I will play one map to show you what's the big deal about it. Why does a lot of people farming? So what you want to do is pretty much um, um, let me do without headhunter because I know some people will say you're good, you're playing with headhunter. So let me get some belt with strength because I need strength. No, let me let me go with this one. Um, there is a lot of people saying like do you have headhunter? It's like uh, it's just here too. You, you just want to go rush, open moonlight kill everything and yeah that's it after that leave the map now sometime I clear the cave as well not full clear just rush to the boss so easy sustain don't get hit okay um, forget about this guy this did not happen okay this not happen every map but it does happen quite a lot right so um, and no, I'm not recording this video 500 maps so I can show you how I got drop exalted. I missed one box there, doesn't matter. The whole point is this map was one. Uh, actually, let's go like this. Let's clear. Let's get that loot. Maybe we get a chaos there. We have blessed orb here, three jeweler, doesn't matter. Um, I don't have jewelers on my filter, but yeah. So let's forget about exalted. That didn't happen. Uh, because that's the not main point. It is, but it's not at the same time. Um, so, in this map, we got one map. We got like uh, three jewelers, so almost a fusing, one chisel. So that's like one chaos worth. Um, three chaos, four chaos, and yeah, like every map, I did some maths. Like you get around like five chaos, like when you calculate. And a random currency so before we start with atlas and uh, everything i want to tell you guys this is not the map where you actually farming like uh, some fragments or whatsoever this is the map where you actually farm those small currency yesterday i had like thousand jewelers now i have five thousand and i have some here as you can see like around uh, 150 or whatever it doesn't matter so like you get a lot of those small currency. So, and what else you got? You got those uh, Maracat and uh, Templar splitters. Now, it's more profitable to sell actually splinters than emblems because when you sell splinters, you get like, let's say like 150 chaos for a Maracat and emblem is like what, 125, so check the market every time when you're selling those because sometimes it's worth more to sell emblem than a splinter sometimes it's worth more to sell a splinter so yeah um, so the whole point is actually farming those emblem now um, the thing about emblem um, you will get sometime 21 23 gem sometime you will get um, some fossil like serrated which is like over 20 chaos sometime perfect fossil which is like 10 15 chaos I don't know so sometimes you get something like uh, enlightening, for example, which is like, I don't know, like 15 chaos or something. The point is you get every time something. Now, if you want to like completely like sell everything, like get the maximum of it, don't gamble like I do. For example, sometimes you find uh, incubating valuable unique items, so time lost, uh, whatever incubator. This one is like 35 chaos, 40 chaos. I use it because why not? Technically, you can get headhunter. Now, if you don't have currency, don't do it. Sell it. 
Uh, those are three chaos. I opened them. I did got uh, day before yesterday a um, doctor card from it. And yeah, I also found a headhunter. Uh, I will put that clip in my uh, next video, which I will upload immediately after this one. Um, I found it. I got it dropped actually in Glacier Map now. I believe some items you might actually find, find, like if you play a lot of Glacier, I think there is like nice chance to actually get Headhunter dropped because I figure out they, uh, those monsters drop a, lo a lot time like leather belts. So I was thinking like, shit, it's possible to get Headhunter as well, right? Because I did found one on second day um, from the chest. Uh, from the moonlight guys from the chest and what's interesting they both had the same purple sign over the head but yeah we will not go too much into details uh, if you want to see how i got a uh, headhunter check my uh tornado shot um guide it's not guide it's just my gear showcase my passive tree showcase because a lot of people asking me now let's go in in atlas that's why we all came here um you want to remove all maps tier 2. This one, this one, this one, this one, and those. So, once you remove all maps tier 2, you want to remove all tier 3. Those, those, and those. You do not want to remove those, because even though if you remove them, they will still drop. So, I did testings, like I said, like I did 100 maps with... Uh, with... Uh, Eldered mausoleum, not shaped ley line or whatever, and like eighty percent time you get drop ley line. For example, you shape ley line and you will eighty percent of your like from ten maps. Let's say ten maps, you will get like two time tier one, and then you will get like six time tier three, which is mausoleum because it's connected with it. You cannot get those because you don't have have them on atlas. So. I do not recommend uncomplete those. Keep them, shape one of them, and elder second one. Now these days, if you remove your elder orb from some other map, you can easily put it here. Um, and then um, let's go like this. I will actually show it. Um, if I go like this, so if my if your atlas look like this, you have shaped this one. You don't have elder this one. Most of the time you will get ley line because it's low tier map and the atlas work like this. They want you to progress. So you will get most of the time tier three. So when you remove elder from some other map, wherever you got it, go to Zana, take elder orb, puff, use it and voila. You don't need to repeat a shaper fight, whatever. You don't need to get the drop again. You can just go to Zana take it and put it wherever you want now the whole point um, <coughs> I'm sorry um, the whole point why you want to shape one elder second one because they are connected now how Atlas work if I play for example this map temple um, tier 10 I can drop infested valley tier 11 even though there is now comp no completion bonus so when you elder this one it's connected um, and still cannot drop because this is now tier 16 and this is now tier 8 so why you want to remove tier 3 because you can drop one tier higher and two tier higher from pass so technically from pass you can get any tier 4 map now my atlas is not like completely perfect for this map because sometime I play burial chamber so if you look like this map tier 5 I only have burial I removed all other tier 5 and I removed all other tier 6 as well I do have maze because I elder maze just like there for example here I shaped promenade to tier 11 and I elder maze to tier 16 so the only tier 5 it can drop is actually burial chamber um, and when I play burial I keep all my tier 2 like this so I don't have them because when I found glacier map you can sell it the glacier map is too chaos so 
that's pretty much how you do your atlas now ideally you want to complete all tier 4, four all tier 5 but you don't have to i do sustain it so how do i sustain it i try to go um let me go into the map to show you i try to go just like this kill moonlight take the loot leave the game go to the next game i can hardly sustain sometimes i lose maps and overall like if you start with let's say 50 maps you will lose all eventually you will not sustain with alk and go Be unless you're going down here and uh, in um, unless you're going here and killing all those maps here so but when you go there you actually waste your time so i don't recommend um White sextants cost like two chaos each now. I got those. Uh, I had like five hundred. I took them for um, one point five C. So that's like three chaos. Even with four chaos for two sextant, it's definitely worth it. Why? Because you, you only put two sextant and then you just go, then you just go like this, alt, and that's it. I check do I have any reflect because I cannot play any reflect even physical reflect there is so many monster chain everything I one shot myself so reflect is no go for me no bueno um, what else I did try to uh, chisel all maps and to see like if I get like some absurd amount of maps then maybe worth to clear complete map i did test that as well i played 100 map with complete clear so first floor cave and the boss skill and it's not worth it uh, four chisel right now is two chaos so that means you are investing two chaos one alchemy in each map and i didn't run sextant then i tried chisel sextant alk val that's definitely not worth it you do get the maps but you don't get such amount of map to actually pay the investment so it's not worth it um and then i tried just to uh, use two sextants and so pretty much because you do sustain you get two sextant you pay them four chaos and you can play three maps because sextant worth for the three maps i will do something stupid just to show you so three use remaining now i don't reroll sextant unless there is physical reflect guys uh, with those uh, physical reflect with the additional physical monsters with those bubble uh proxy shield or whatsoever is the name um yeah that one is a pain in the ass so i oh, that's the only one i reroll if i get a um, monster that heal i do cave if i get uh, extra battles i do i do go down in the second second piece of the map uh, so down in the cave uh, i don't clear the whole cave i just rush to the boss because um, I figure out that those barrels give you actually a lot of maps. So sometimes you can get like five, six maps down there. And those six maps you can sell for 12 kills. So it's actually really good. But only then I'm going down. Other than that, I'm not going down. There is no way. If I get breach, let's say I got breach in this map. Um, I run to moonlight, I open moonlight and then I search breach, I pop the breach, I kill the monster from moonlight and then I shoot few time on breach, everything die and then I open TP. I don't care, I, I will not wait completely to breach. Now ideally the spawn of breach, if spawn is here, I run through the breach, go here, open moonlight, kill everything and then whatever I killed in breach, I killed in breach, that's it. Take the loot, shoot few more times open map open tp run out and that's it i don't clear completely bridge i don't care it's a waste of time but it's okay you get some time up from it so map sustain right now what technically you can do as well you can buy like 50 100 maps and just go all can go and eventually when you lose them you can buy new maps but with price of two chaos each, I don't think it's worth it. I think the best investment is use one, uh, use two sext sextant, and yeah, 
I might be wrong, you can maybe actually sustain it with one sextant. So that will be actually two chaos and three alchemy investment in three maps. I have to test that one. So I will update this video if, for example, one sextant is okay. But yeah, that's pretty much how I sustain uh, my uh, Glacier map. Uh, how I farmed, farmed them. Um, they are absolutely profitable. It's one of the biggest... Keep in mind I was farming Uber Elder, Shaper, whatsoever. And this profit you get here and this tier 2 is absolutely disgusting. It's, it's huge. It's tremendous. Like you get so much loot. It's just crazy. So yeah that's pretty much it for this video guys uh, if you like the video like hit that like button subscribe button or whatever and yeah if you have any question uh leave your question down in comment below below in the comment section and i will gladly answer them now um i will put the video about uh, my wind reaper so you can see uh, what character i'm using why i'm using what you can change how you can start it on budget and yeah that's it for this video guys and i'll see you next time